Hello once again YouTube, this is Pilsy74 bringing you another game of Assassin's Creed Revelations. This time I am once again playing Corruption and once again in Ipocratus. I don't know what it is about Ipocratus lately, but I seem to be having some really good games there. Uh, so I start off by getting into the blend group, morphing them, and hey look, there's a whole bunch of people who like me. Uh, before I get more into the game though, I actually want to mention one thing. Um, on my 32nd commentary, which was the deathmatch in Antioch, uh, where the Bombardier was my target for half the game, uh, I believe everyone watching this probably knows who Shenmue 36 is. And so Shenmue actually made a comment, just a little comment on my video. And more than likely because of that, my subscribers double in a matter of days. And actually one day I got 40 more subscribers. Now I had 55 subscribers. And I'm currently over 100. And so, for a while, I've pretty much known what I was going to do for my 100 subscriber special. Uh, I've had an idea in mind for a long time. Another hidden escape, by the way. And, um... So, on Friday... Probably on Friday. Could be Saturday. My 100th subscriber special will be going up as Commentary 35. And I don't really want to say what it is. Let it be a little bit of a surprise, but I will just say that someone is very, very excited for it. And that's all I'm going to say. So anyway, back to the game. Uh, I'm once again in a morph group. Now, there's going to be a few recurring themes in this game. One of them is hidden escapes. And when there's an, someone chasing me, and there's another one behind me, and I get another hidden escape and that's gonna be recurring um, and a lore and for some reason I throw my smoke here I didn't need to throw my smoke and that's a bad habit of mine you know when you do when someone lures you have you know a few seconds watch this you have a few seconds until they're not lured un until they can stun you so he passed me as the deacon climbs up as the trickster get the hidden escape and then he comes down and he's the count again. I'm kind of mad though that I didn't get another chase in there because he was in my line of sight long enough probably to start a chase, but oh well, couldn't get it. But I'm racking up the, and I got another lore, I'm racking up the proximity bonuses, racking up the lures, racking up the hidden escapes. But the problem that I'm having is that I'm only getting medium corruption. And I decided at that point to get out of there. They're not killing anyone else. And in order to get, and look at this, uh, so I'm getting chased, I'm going to go through the doors to the deathmatch area, and I see that guy was killed right there, so I'm going to turn around and go in a circle, and go back to this little area over here, I've spent a lot of the game, and get into a morph group, and get a hidden escape. Uh, the problem that is that for the challenge, in order to get that challenge where you're uncorrupted at the end of a round, you actually have to be in sudden death. And if they don't kill the other two people, I can't go into sudden death. So that creates a problem for me. Actually, looking, looking back, I think what happened was that Deacon was uh, entered the game when that guy was disguised as the Deacon. So he probably had to change his disguise to a trickster. It's probably what happened, I'm guessing anyway. Um, but right now, there's still two... Well, there's one besides me, and there's still another un, uh, uncorrupted besides me. There's two behind me. And look at that, a hidden escape. And what I should have done here is stunned him, and then smoked and gotten the other guy too. But I said, that side, screw it, I want to be uncorrupted at the end of the round. So, four seconds, and that is basically it. So, nice round, and I'm, just, I'm upset that I couldn't get the... Um, the, uh, un uh, the, the uncorrupted th with sudden death, because that's a challenge, that's a very hard challenge, and I really want to get that challenge done. And that was really the reason I was playing Corruption. But, this round, um, this guy, I felt bad for this guy. He spawned right in front of me, in my line of sight, and I do something that's maybe not the smartest thing, and I make myself obvious, and I chase him. But I get the chase done, he runs around, he jumps down, he rolls, and once you get the barrel roll, you know, he's slowed down enough where he's not going to be able to do anything for me. You know, he's not going to be able to get away. So this is the part that's funny. 
So he, he watches. He, he, I jump down here, and he's got this blend group. And so I see him there. He's in this blend group. For some reason, I start a chase, which is just dumb of me. But what can you do? So my smoke, and I morph. So I see it's him. Kill him. And he's gone. Now his name was Uno Kanji. Remember that. Because right there, Uno Kanji leaves the game. It's very important to remember. So right here, uh, going for this uncorrupted, there's the hooker, and I don't make myself too obvious, but the other guy does. So I get the hidden kill, and get the variety bonus, diversion, got the revive too, so it's 800 point kill plus the revive, so pretty nice. You know, quite pleased with that, that was a, a decent kill. So this is the one part of the game that, that I, I have to give credit to my opponents for, because well, not really. <laughs> this wasn't my screw-up. What I should have done here was, like I did to Uno Kanji before, and thrown my smoke. Unfortunately, this guy decides to make one of his guys a decoy, and the guy smokes when I'm in range, because I'm going to smoke him. And because of that, I failed at smoking him. So, the um, thespians over here... And these guys are running around ridiculously, and he gets stunned, so I lock her, and look at that, someone's running there. So I say, you know what, screw it, I'm not going to go after her. I have bigger fish to fry. And I get the greater variety for the assist. But look who my target is. Someone came back into the game after they probably had rage quit, because I offensively morphed them, because that has been a reaction to offensive morph. Oh well. Sorry, I'm going for challenges. So he has another blend group. So what am I going to do? I'm going to smoke. I'm going to morph. And look at that. I have a target. So how many times, how many times do you think in one round of corruption has someone been offensively morphed and killed twice? How many times do you think that's happened? I'm betting it's fairly rare. I mean, it goes. It gives credence to the f maybe he didn't rage quit. Maybe he did get disconnected and rejoin. That has happened to me. Or I've actually rejoined the, game, the same game that I that I've been disconnected from. But it is. It actually happens a little bit more often when you quit. So I just found it really funny that he more than likely rage quit because of my offensive morph, and then um, came back to the same game and I did the exact same thing to him. So we're in the final round, and um, we're in the final round, and I'm walking around the edge again, basically in the same area I was in before, and um, just walking around here, waiting for someone to catch up to me. And Uno Kanji got corrupted there. So. They're, they're killing the uncorrupted really quickly here, and um, and I'm just walking. Now I'm at high corruption already. There's only and now there's only two uncorrupted left. So um, I'm really just seeing what's going on, waiting for someone to catch up to me. And there's one, and he's going to go right past me and start a chase. So guess what's going to happen? Hidden escape as he kills his own doppelganger. And not many mutes, and he should know who I am. Now, obviously, he's just killed his own doppelganger, so he should know who I am, and yet he kills another one. So, one of them walks past me. There's four here. One of them walked past me. I stunned three of them, and then there's the other one over there. So now there's five near me. And obviously, my smoke is gone, so I'm gonna run for these chase breakers, and you'll see I just got the 100 point proximity. And I decided to do something a little bit different here. Where I go through the tunnel that's under the deathmatch area. But I'm noticing the arrow. And the arrow isn't behind me, it's next to me, which means that he's going around. So I go back, and this is the most serendipitous timing I've ever had. So he's there, and look at that, the doors were closed, doors are open. Doors are closed, doors are open. I was not using Ichi Chase Breaker. I just happened to get really, really lucky. Because if it wasn't for that, I would be dead. So I find this blend group, get in there, everyone's way behind me. I don't know if they know who I am or not, but sudden death, hidden escape, 
multiple escape, hidden escape. So, yeah, and a lore. So, suddenly I'm at 10,000. I'm over 10,000, and this is really strange because a minute ago I was at 7,100. So this time I just say screw it and I get up there. And I get two lures and multiple escape again. But unfortunately, it ends here because I jumped down and I hit someone. And if I jumped at a different angle, gone a different way, it wouldn't have happened. But, and look who kills me. My good buddy Uno Kanji. He didn't even, didn't even have to morph. But that is it. Game ends with 12,580. I was very pleased, easily my high score by about 1,400 points. And um, as always, I will show my scores of course, the Hall of Fame and the accolades. And then my scores and my challenges. This time the only challenge was the uh, offensive morph challenge, which hopefully I'm almost done with. If you like the commentary, please comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Pilsy74, and see my videos on Vapor Game as well. Thanks for watching.